like and subscribe right now and you'll have amazing luck for an entire week. Hello dear viewer and welcome to yet another riveting episode of 100M where we look at the 10 baddest people in the world. Number 10. Donna Simpson, 630 pounds. While the rest of the world was counting calories and trying to slim down, Donna Simpson upped her food intake to an alarming 15,000 calories per day, wanting to become the fattest woman ever. She earned her mammoth meals and treats performing as a supersized big beautiful web model where she ranked in over $90,000 a year, a big fat check paid by chubby chasing admirers who loved to watch her eat. At her peak weight, Simpson exceeded 600 pounds, but most people recall a comparatively modest measure of 532 pounds because that was her weight around the time she got pregnant with her baby girl Jacqueline. She earned the Guinness World Record title for the heaviest woman to give birth and later ditched her mission of becoming the fattest woman after she herself was jilted by her fiancé and father to her baby. Number 9. Monica Riley, 700 pounds. Morbidly obese funnel-feeding model Monica Riley wanted to become the world's fattest woman as well. Like Donna Simpson, she was ready to spend her days gorging on piles of food to achieve the big goal. At her heaviest, Monica weighed a colossal 700 pounds, but swore not to stop at that. With a gut-busting diet of 10,000 calories a day, the fattish model from Fort Worth, Texas was well on her way to hitting her target weight of 1,000 pounds and basically becoming too fat to move. Her fiancé Sid Riley spent most of his time catering to her insatiable appetite for high-calorie shakes. Her shakes contained liberal amounts of double cream, pop-tarts, milk, and weight gain powder totaling a whopping 3,500 calories. And with 20,000 online fans watching, Monica guzzled it all in a very original way, through a funnel feeder. Number 8. Shannon Lowry, 739 pounds. Weighing in at 739 pounds at her heaviest, Shannon Lowry is one of the heaviest women on this list. Most people know her from the recently broadcast episode of the show My 600 Pound Life, starred by world-famous weight loss surgeon Dr. Now. On the episode, the 39-year-old narrates her grueling journey becoming morbidly obese practically her entire adult life. The struggle has never been easy on her since weighing 100 pounds at age 7 and 450 pounds by age 17. When she finally decided to enlist the help of Dr. Now last year, Lowry was at her heaviest. She tipped the scales at 739 pounds when the good doctor weighed her from his Houston, Texas office. At the time, Shannon relied on her husband, Simon Johnson, for pretty much everything, a duty which he discharged religiously for the 10 years they had been married since meeting while gaming online. Since appearing on Dr. Now's show, Shannon's weight loss journey seemed incredible as she lost 41 pounds initially. However, she reported recently that her progress since stalled. Number 7. Susan Iman, 800 pounds. Feasting mostly on astonishingly enormous meals that add up to a terrifying 30,000 calories per day, does it come as a surprise that morbidly obese Susan Iman once tipped the scales at more than 800 pounds? She got through heavy breakfasts, greasy snacks with sugary shakes, and mammoth dinners. She too hoped to become the world's fattest woman and America's largest bride. She was at the time engaged to be married to chef fiancé Parker Clack. Her two sons were, however, not okay with the life-threatening mission. They understandably feared for their mother's health and well-being. Hearing her son's concerns, Suzanne sought professional assistance from a residential weight loss clinic and shed off nearly half of her weight ahead of her 2013 big day. When she slimmed down incredibly from an 800-pound big beautiful woman to a mere 450 pounds, her fiancé Parker Clack thought she had changed too much and called off the wedding. Fortunately, Suzanne found a new love a few short years later, and together with her new catch, Nick Abate, they set out on a mission to get her back to her previous size. Number 6. Barry Austin, 910 pounds. Going by Fat Baz, Barry Austin was dubbed Britain's fattest man when a lifestyle of binge eating pushed his weight to a whopping 910 pounds. His peak weight was confirmed at a titular Sky One documentary where Barry admitted to ravaging through 29,000 calories a day and drinking up to 12 liters of fizzy drinks at a time. Barry acknowledged the dark side of his lifestyle 
and was trying to slim down for his health when a number of health issues presented. He lost 280 pounds after having a gastric balloon fitted and slashing his caloric intake to a limited 1,500 calories per day. In a message to his longtime pal and fellow blues fan, broadcaster Tom Ross, Barry said that he was struggling after losing a lot of weight as he had been bedbound for six years. Sadly, Barry passed away on January 1st this year after suffering a heart attack that caused him to fall. Number 5. Ricky Jr. Naputi, 900 pounds. Well known as the Guamanian man who ate himself to death, Ricky Naputi battled with his food addiction for many years. His labored struggle was briefly captured in a TLC documentary called 900 Pound Man. TV crew from the US network followed the life of Ricky with his wife Cheryl in what was the man's final three years. At the time, Ricky was too heavy to do anything. He hadn't walked on his own for more than seven years. He couldn't talk without running out of breath, and he was too fat to even consummate his marriage. Perhaps the only thing that came easy for him was insisting on more food. Lots and lots of it. Ricky desperately needed life-saving surgery, but all the doctors he contacted required that he loses at least 90 pounds on his own first, since it would have been too dangerous to try and perform gastric surgery given his condition at the time. In the end, his 10-year marriage broke down, and without anyone to help feed and bathe him, Ricky fell into deep depression over the state of his life. He died in November 2012 at age 39, with doctors declaring morbid obesity as the cause of his death. Number 4. Carol Ann Yeager, 1,189 pounds. As the only woman to hit 1,200 pounds, perhaps 1,600 pounds unofficially, Carol Ann Yeager was undoubtedly the most severely obese woman in history and the heaviest ever recorded. Her obesity was caused by an eating disorder she had developed as a child after being sexually abused by a close family member. She said that she found temporary relief in her sweet treats. Life for her was never a piece of cake. Jaeger fell in and out of deep depression and suffered many obesity-related health problems over the course of her life. At her heaviest, Jaeger was mostly immobile and became totally dependent on her 14-year-old daughter Heather and son Stephen Bishop, among other helpers including friends and nurses. In her final year, Jaeger lost about 500 pounds after she was put on diuretic drugs in a restricted 1,200-calorie diet while admitted at the Hurley Medical Center. She died at her home in the year that followed, with kidney failure listed as the cause of death and morbid obesity being the contributing cause. One can never hope to retell Jaeger's thousand-pound life in about a hundred words, but putting her on this list is a start. Number 3. Khalid bin Mohsen Shari, 1,345 pounds. Once the heaviest living person and the second heaviest person ever recorded, Saudi Arabian Khalid bin Mohsen Shari weighed 1,345 pounds at his peak weight. Unable to move on his own, Shari was confined to his bed for a little over three years, a situation which prompted Saudi King Abdullah to intervene. Shari was then transferred from his Jazan home in the south to be treated in the King Fahad medical city in Riyadh, where he lost a massive 700 pounds through a combination of gastric band surgery, rehabilitation, strict exercise regimen, and healthy eating. While his loss was remarkable, Shari needed to trim down a further 218 pounds to become the biggest loser in history, a record held by American Rosalie Bradford, who had lost 917 pounds to clinch the title. Some sources say, however, that Shari ultimately slimmed down to a friendly weight of 150 pounds after losing a whopping 1,100, a familiar face and perhaps an even more familiar tale that calls to attention the everyday struggles of living with obesity. Number 2. Kenneth Brumley, 1,033 pounds. When his story featured on Channel 4's Body Shock documentary series, Half Ton Dad, Kenneth Brumley weighed a tremendous 1,033 pounds. The father of four ballooned to his staggering size on a daily diet of 30,000 calories. He picked up the weight so fast that he was unable to do anything at his peak weight. He was bedbound for four years, as his gigantic legs could no longer carry his tremendous weight. Buckled under his own weight and with no one to care for him, Brumley went a whole four years without having a bath. Brumley made headlines when he qualified for rehabilitation at the Renaissance Hospital in Houston, Texas, where it took an entire fire crew to help get him out of his house and transport him to the hospital. His daily calorie intake was reduced to 1,200 per day and was finally scheduled for gastric bypass surgery after reaching a safe weight for the life-saving procedure.